Good morning, everyone. It's Rose Coleman coming to you live from my craft room here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It is Friday morning, just past nine o'clock. I did ch got, try to go live right at nine, but it gave me a big error saying broadcast failed and it wouldn't go away. <laughs> I had to like power down again. Uh, sometimes things happen and I don't know why these things happen, but we power down the phone and give it a few seconds and power back up and it worked. Yay! <laughs> uh, it's Friday. Oh, what a week. Thank you for being here, everyone. Thank you for your patience. If you were watching me yesterday, then you know that I am going live again at 9. I'm back to my Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. schedule. Um, university is finished for my daughter, so I don't have to drive her in the morning. So um, I'm going to be consistent and be 9 o'clock. So thank you all for being here. I see you all popping in. It is a beautiful day here in Calgary. So excited. It's Friday. It's warming up. All the good things, right? Uh, I want to thank you all for your orders. Thank you for choosing me if you're from Canada and you've chosen me as your demonstrator and placed an order with me this week. I am super excited to bring these cards to you. So if you placed a minimum $60 order, you're going to get these card packages from me so that you can sit down and make these cards um, using your own stamps and ink. Now, I started off the week with Hey Chuck, okay? I thought I would make it through the week, but guess what? It's a popular stamp set. It's sold out on Thursday, Thursday morning. Yesterday morning, I went live, and I had my title of my video was Pivot. I had to pivot. <laughs> I had to pivot because the stamp set for Hey Chuck is sold out. And I don't like to demonstrate things that are not available. So, hi, Nadine. Good morning to you. So I pivoted yesterday to another bundle that's retiring that I really think you need to have. Um, I pivoted to uh, Little Dreamers, and this is an amazing little stamp set. So um, the bundle is available. The dies are discounted. You can still get this one. So when you get your card packages from me, you can substitute if you already... Hi, Kim. Good morning. If you already purchased Hey Chuck and you were looking forward to five ideas, I still have you covered. I have five ideas for you with Hey Chuck, as I promised. However, Thursday and Friday, you're going to get extra ideas using Little Dreamer. So in the PDF that I'm going to send you, you're going to get all of that information for both cards. You're going to get pictures of both cards. And then you can decide. You can decide if you want to make five Hey Chuck cards or you want to make five um, the ones from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I don't have pictures of them with Little Dreamers. I didn't make cards with Little Dreamers, but you could totally substitute. And stay tuned to, stay tuned to the end of my video. I'll show you um, the, a recap of the five cards I've done this week. So let's get started on Friday's Fun Fold card. I love this one. And it's a super easy design, and, and it fits in an envelope. It's interactive, and at first glance, you'll be like, how is that a card? That's not going to fit, but it will, I promise you. Hi, Kathy. Good morning, good morning. Okay, let's flip the camera and get started on this card. I'm going to put my coffee down over here, away from my work surface, and let's get going on this card. I see all your thumbs up and your love. Thank you all for giving me that. I appreciate it, and all your comments and shares. I appreciate it all so much, you guys. This is what Facebook loves when you interact with my video. So please keep doing what you're doing and commenting and sharing my video. I greatly appreciate it so much. All right, let's go ahead and flip the camera. And <laughs> there's a little glimpse of my yard. Oh, I can't wait. Whoops. That's not my yard. That's my forehead. Let's flip that back around. <laughs> I can't wait for this the grass to turn green. And I love spring, but I love summer. I love both spring and summer. I just don't like, I think I like everything except for winter, you guys. <laughs> I'm just going to be real honest here. I like everything except winter. Oh, I do not like the cold. Okay, let's not talk about that. Okay, so on my, on my screen... You can see the shopping host code. So when you use the host code and you spend a minimum $60 before shipping and tax, you qualify to get my uh, card packages in the mail. If you bump your order up this uh, during April, if you bump it up to a minimum $100 before shipping and tax, I'm going to send you my Canada Post prepaid shipping box as a gift from me. Okay, this is it. I don't do this very often, but I'm doing it in the month of April. 
so that you guys can get all the retiring things. Plus you can help me, uh, you know, declutter my craft room and make room for new things. I'm going to be sending you, oh my goodness, a whole bunch of, of things. Um, whatever fits in the box is fair game. Okay. So I'm going to load up those boxes and get them sent off to you. And hopefully you will like the things. Every box is going to be different. These are going to be gently used things from my collection. Some of them have never been used at all. There will be ribbon, um, partial packs of embellishments uh, that I've opened and I didn't finish. You know, uh, hopefully you can find use for all these things. I'm pretty sure you, you can. Um, so that is going to, what's going to be in those boxes. Plus when you hit that hundred dollar mark, you're going to qualify for my cards as well. So you're going to get the five card packages plus the box of goodies. Um, if your order hits $200, do not use my host code. Go ahead and choose your own stamp and rewards. Every order over $200 qualifies for Stampin' Rewards, which is free product from Stampin' Up. Oh my goodness, so much free stuff. So many of you have done that this week. You've hit that $200 mark and you've placed your orders and you got some free stuff from Stampin' Up. It's a win-win for everyone, right? So good morning, Joy. Good morning, everyone that's popping in. All right, we're going to continue on. So the bundle that I started off with this week was Hey Chuck. Now the stamps are sold out, but maybe you own the stamps, but you didn't get the dies. The dies are still available and you can get them at a discount, okay? So go ahead and grab your dies if you didn't get them. The Hey Chuck stamp set's sold out. I'm keeping mine as a bundle. Watch for my future BOGO sales. Maybe this one will be in there where you can actually get this from me um, for free on my BOGO, my BOGO sale. But for now, we're just gonna put the elastic band on, keep these products together, and we're going to pivot again today, and I'm going to give you another idea using the Little Dreamers stamp set and die set. This one's from the annual catalog. If you've overlooked it, let me share with you where that one is in the catalog. I'm just going to pop in here and show you. On page 57, you can see the bundle. It was introduced last year with the annual catalog. The bundle is, um, let me see, $64.75. The French stamp set is on sale for $23.10. But let me flip to the dies on page 158 and share with you the situation with those. They are on sale, regular $39, then you can get you can get the dies for $35.10. So $35.10, I think it was Joy that quoted yesterday, it's still cheaper to get the bundle. So this is an amazing little bundle that I think everyone can use in their collection. Um, you know, when, when you need a baby card, right? Or if you're doing some baby scrapbooking, um, a, doing a baby gift, this is a adorable, adorable little stamp set. I was thinking about it this morning. I was like, well, you know, baby sets, people, some people are like, oh, I'm done having babies. I don't have any children. I don't have any, my children are grown, but you just never know. It's like, I think of baby cards as being like baby and sympathy cards. It's like when you need a card, you need it, right? Someone has a baby, you know, someone you work with, a friend, a niece, nephew, whatever, right? You're going to need a baby card. So it's good to have one of these in, in your collection. This one's a, an adorable little one. It's also not just a baby stamp set. Like when I look at this, I see the cow, I see the elephant. I think of days when I used to take my kids to the zoo. And I know I have lots and lots of pictures of those types of things that I would love to scrapbook. So you could totally use this for things other than babies, okay? Um, let's see. Okay, let's bring in, I have something else I want to share with you before we get started. I'm going to feature a package of designer series paper that is leaving. It is on page 31. Let me just open my catalog up to show you. On page 30 and 31. The Lay Shop Sweet Collection is retiring, okay? The French stamp set's 2310. The English stamp set for Let's Go Shopping is 2560. The dies that go with it um, are regular 40 on for 32. But what I want to feature today is the designer series paper because it is 50% off. That's a smoking deal, right? So let me bring in the patterns of this Lay Shop's paper and show you um, what it looks like, okay? So we've got six patterns. Let's bring them in here. Did, I thought I counted out six. Yes, I did. Okay. Let me show you what these look like. 
I and I also have my scrapbook layouts that I want to share with you. So I'll show you those at the end. Stay tuned, to, stay tuned to the end and I'll show you my scrapbook layouts. I'll raise up my camera and give you a good view. And I'll also show you the cards from this week. Okay, so we've got a pattern paper here. We've got stacks of books and some paint. My, this one reminds me of my daughter because the art, you know, she, my daughter's going to University of the Arts. And this one is totally a great one for her. I picture doing scrapbook layouts with this one with uh, pictures of the things she's done this year in her first year. There we have our Daffodil Delight pattern. We have a gorgeous Smoky Slate pattern here. This could be used for baby cards, could be used for any kind of cards, actually. It's a very neutral design. The flip side of that one, look at this one. It has like bread and like a ramen bowl and there's um, cakes and and uh, forks <laughs> and, and ice creams. Love, love, love that one. But the lace shops, of course, it's all about the storefronts and the shops and scenery. So we've got this pattern here. Of course, you get two pieces of each design. So that one has the storefronts. Um, more like homes, actually. And then this one has storefronts with the little greenery. And we've got a whole bunch of different uh, stores. There's clothing stores. There's an art store. You name it, right? We've got you covered here. Then there's a third pattern with storefronts that are is bakery, um, a little sweet shop. Like, so adorable. These three patterns here, these three sheets, actually four sheets. This is the fourth one. I love this one. This one is a balmy blue background, but the storefronts are all in white. So you've got those four patterns that coordinate with the lay shops, stamps, and dies. And then you've got these two patterns here that have, um, sorry, this one with the artwork and this one with the um, food. So then the flip side, let me just take the whole pack, flip it over and show you. I love the background paper because it's very neutral and you can use it with all kinds of stuff. So we've got our Daffodil Delight, Smoky Slate, and this one here, we've got Petal Pink with Calypso Coral. We've got some Night of Navy with Balmy Blue. And then we've got some other, our other blues here. We've got, um, we got a, a combination of the blues and the clips of coral. And this one is a really like a smaller print of the storefronts and the houses. So really, really, really pretty paper. And today I'm going to share with you a card using Little Dreamers. And the two patterns that I pulled out are these two. Okay. So we're going to use that to sh and I'm going to share with you um, a card with uh, Little Dreamers. And I'm also going to give you a Hey Chuck um, version as well. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to bring in petal pink cardstock. We're going to cut this in half at eight and a half by five and a half. So just bringing in my paper trimmer. We're going to cut that in half. So you can get two of this card out of a piece of cardstock. So eight and a half by five and a half. Then we're going to score at two, four, six, and eight. So I'll need to extend my arm out here. The arm on my <laughs> on my cutter, not my arm, but. That would feel good actually to have a nice stretch. Extend your arm out. <laughs> okay, two, four, six, and eight. Easy peasy. Okay, so now we're going to just put that one off to the side, but we're going to bring, bring in. Um, do I need to cut anything else? Probably in just a second, I might need to cut something. But first, what I'm going to do is burnish all the score lines. So just bring in my bone folder and just give each score line a nice firm burnish so that everything will fold up properly. And then we've got this little tab right here. Now this tab here is going to be where I put my glue. So let's bring in my liquid glue and we'll add a little bit of that to this uh, banner, not banner, um, strip. <laughs> so you can put tear and tape or you can use liquid glue. I love my liquid glue. It is definitely strong. It will not fall apart here. So we're going to go ahead and close that up so it closes in half. Now, you can see from the top here, you're probably thinking, well, are you making a card or a box? Now, this idea came from my amazing mentor, Rhonda Wade. She did a, a creative convention. When you sign up for her um, creating success group, you get access to all of her 
library of projects and creative conventions. If I, I signed up to be a V, I was in the actual creating success group for years and years, and then I bumped up to VIP, and VIP gives me access to all of her online creative conventions. And let me tell you, my friends, it's worth every, every, every penny. Because I went back to a previous creative convention from a couple of years ago, I think it was, and I pulled out this little project and I thought, oh, this is a great one for today. So from that paper, from the Lay Shops paper, I have two pieces of designer series paper. I'm gonna feature the petal pink and calypso coral pattern. So let's just flip those over and get our glue flowing on those. And we're gonna put those on the front of this cart. So the front, I'm determining the front because wherever the seam is, now there's my seam, I want that to be at the back of the cart. So I'm gonna put that at the back and I'm gonna take these two panels and glue them down right here. Just put those down. This is so easy, so, so easy. Okay, so there we've got our panels. And then I do need to bring in my trimmer. On the back of this card, we're going to put two pieces that, um, of white. So I need to grab, I think I forgot to cut. I got one, I just need one more. Okay, so let me grab my paper. So this panel, and this is all gonna be on my blog, you guys, you can, you can see the PDF, I'll get that posted. Um, this basic white is one and three quarters by five and a quarter. So let's go ahead and pop that in here and cut that down. So these are our two pieces for the back of the card. All right, the other thing I need to do is we're gonna play with stylish shapes. Now stylish shapes, breathe a sigh of relief, it is not retiring. This is the stylish shapes dies. You get the squares, the circles, the banners, and we're gonna use the largest square on this project today. And I need to cut a piece of Calypso coral um, for, with this one. So let's go ahead and bring in my machine and we'll cut that out. Good morning, everyone. All right, so, okay, let's bring in my stamp and cut and emboss machine. I've got a piece of Calypso coral. I've got my die here. We're gonna pop that on. Now, I'm just thinking about the other things that I want to cut. Hmm. I'm going to need, just because, you know, it's better to be prepared and just do all your cutting at the same time, right? So from the Little Dreamers, I need, I know I need a moon. <laughs> so we're going to cut a moon and I'm going to use some balmy blue for that. So let me bring in a scrap piece of balmy blue and I think that's all I need for my card. Um, you'll see as I go along, I'll show you all the pieces, but we're just going to do these two little cuts today, or this morning. <laughs> Hi, Elaine from London, Ontario. Thank you for being here. All the cracking sounds are normal when we're using the stamp and cut and emboss machine. All right, move my stuff out of the way, and we're going to bring in that moon. There we go. See, if you just drop your dies, sometimes they just pop out like that. <laughs> okay, so then we'll see how this looks. There's my stitched square from the stylish shape so put that die back all right so now we're gonna do some stamping so i put my die back um okay yes yes <laughs> sorry i had to stop and think what stage am i at okay we need a piece to stamp on so i have a piece of basic white here that's going to go in the center of this um calypso coral square and we're going to bring in the stamps now okay so from the Little Dreamers stamp set, let me just grab my stamps here. I've got too much stuff on my desk. Okay, so let me show you what we've got. We've got, yesterday I made a card using the lion that's got the floating star balloon. There's an elephant. Today I'm gonna to use this cute little sleeping cow on my card. So we're gonna stamp the cow no, I don't want to glue anything together. You always stamp first and then glue because if I make a mistake, I can always flip it over and try again, right? So we're going to stamp the cow at the bottom of this square piece of white. So just stamp straight down at the bottom here. Boom. Okay, so we've got that done. Then I'm going to bring in 
night um calypso coral ink yes calypso coral and we're gonna stamp up here at the top little big little baby big love so let's go ahead and bring in calypso coral and my stamp we'll do tap 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 and we'll stamp that just kind of hover over and hold your breath for a second no i'm just kidding <laughs> okay so there we go we've got our little baby big love and then now we get to do some fun coloring so let me just move my ink off to the side so for this one i'm going to bring in some colors here and we're going to color this little cow little sleeping cow so let me share with you the colors i have i have dark petal pe pebble path for this little cow's hoofs so we'll just go around he, there's only three of them showing so we'll color those with dark pebble path then I'm gonna bring in um, bubble bath, um, light bubble bath for his snout or his nose. I'm gonna put a little bit on his ears too, or her ears. And then we're gonna use crumb cake for the rest. So let's do dark crumb cake. We'll do that on the tail tuff. And then we're gonna do these patches here. We're gonna do this one in dark. I'll use my switch to my my uh, thicker end for my blend. You get both ends, right? You get the marker tip and you get the smaller one for doing your fine details. So let's go ahead and do this patch here with dark crumb cake. So nice, I love this color. And then I'm also gonna do this patch over here with the ear and I'm leaving the center of the ear where I put the little bit of bubble bath. I'm not gonna cover it up because then you won't see that little bit of pink. There we go. So there's dark crumb cake. Now, light crumb cake, I go through this marker like water. I really do because I use this all the time as a grounding color. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to the bottom so that he doesn't look like he's just floating in midair. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use my light crumb cake to come in and just blend in the rest. This is the beauty of blends. It's because the alcohol gets down into the cardstock and you can blend in your colors. I love it. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of light around the ear, come up here to the tuff on the top of his head, and then just finish off the rest of this cow with the light crumb cake. And I was very quiet. I don't think I woke him. There we go. <laughs> okay, so there's our coloring all done. So we're gonna put this onto the Calypso Coral layer now. And this is important why you need to put something underneath, like try not to do, or you shouldn't stamp, shouldn't color with your blends on like, you know, a beautiful dining room table or something, because it does bleed through and blends are, are permanent. So they will stain your table and it won't come out, right? So just a word of to the wise, um, if you're giving children blends to play with that, you know, you gotta make sure that they have something protective on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna bring in my silicone mat. And what I've done is I've cut out from these amazing dies. Let me show you what I've done. I've cut out the moon with balmy blue. I cut out three of the stars here with lemon lolly and I did a small uh, cloud. Look at this die here. This one here will cut these little stars in your cardstock and then you could put a piece of lemon lolly behind so you can make the stars yellow from behind. Um, so many options with this adorable little stamp set and the bundle, right? The dies. So here I've got my piece and I'm going to just add a little bit of glue right over here on the left side of my, my card, um, my white. I'm going to add that little, um, cloud and then I'm going to put a little bit in the front and put the moon on top like that. It's all about the layering. And then I'm going to grab my glue and I'm going to add little dots where I'm going to put those stars. So one there, one there, and one over here. And then the beauty of our take your pick tool, let's pick up those stars and put them right on top of my little glue bits here. So there's one, two, and three. Look at that, you guys. I noticed after I was done, I'll show you close up. Um, I really like how the stitching from the stylish shapes matches the stitching on these dies. Oh, doesn't that look great? Like the stitching on the moon and the cloud. It's all about the details, right? Stampin' Up! leaves nothing out when they 
look at the details. Okay, so that's going to be the front focal point of my card. So thanks for the love, you guys. I appreciate that. So let's work on stamping these back panels. So we're going to say on the front, it's going to say little baby, big love. What about the back? So the back, let's bring in some more of the stamps. We've got a star is born. We've got some little stars here and we also have a shooting star. So let's grab those. Let's grab the star, the shooting star and the little stamp that says a star is born because that's truly what happens when you get a new baby in your house, right? It's like a new star is born in your family. So we're going to stamp that right here with clips of coral. And then I'm going to close up my clips of coral so I don't put my arm in it. <laughs> I'm going to grab my memento. We're going to stamp just a cluster of stars on this panel. And I'm going to stamp that shooting star over here on this panel. All right, so there we go. We got that done. Now we're going to move on and grab some blends. Let's see. We need Calypso Coral, Calypso Coral <laughs> and Lemon Lolly to add a pop of color. So let me grab those. Um, I thought I had those on my desk. Yes, I did. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're going to add Lemon Lolly to the big star and the three little stars. And I'll switch over to my sharp point, the pointy one, the marker end. Add a little strip of lemon lolly and let's add a little pop of Calypso Coral to the shooting part here, those shooting rays. Okay, so there's the back. Now I've got plenty of room to write my greeting and sign my card. So let's go ahead, flip this over. We'll add our glue to these rectangles here and we will get this one mounted onto the card. Now I want to share with you a fun way how we're going to make this. You're probably thinking, but it still looks like a box. It's still... <laughs> so just bear with me. I'll show you how we're going to make this pop. So we're going to put these on the back here like that one there and then the other one right next to it. Okay. So there's the back of the card, back of the box, back of the card. So we got the front and there's the back. Now, how do we get this on here like this? Well, we're going to bring in two pieces of cardstock and you're going to get these in your kit, two pieces of cardstock. And let me see if I've got them done right. They are, this is your pop-up mechanism. So it's two and a half by one and a quarter. So we're going to take these two pieces of Calypso Coral and we're just simply gonna fold them in half. You don't even have to worry about using bone folder if you don't want to, you could. You could just fold them in half, press it down with your thumb, or you could bring in your bone folder. I'm just gonna leave mine just like that. And then what I'm gonna do is flip them over. We're gonna add glue to one of the flaps, like that. Let's do one at a time. And then what we wanna do is we're gonna take the little pop-up thing, the little, Re uh, rectangle and we're going to take the score line that we just created we're going to put that in the center right up to next to the score line like that and then we're going to take this one and we'll do the same on the other side coming close to the score line like this and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second so there we have they're anchored down like that flat at the back and then we've got these flaps that come up the front so this is where we're going to put our piece on here. Now you could use a circle. You could use any die cut at this point, right? You could use anything you want. Like I'm just using a rectangle or a, sorry, a square from the stylish shapes. But if I wanted to use a different die, you can totally use like one of the nested essentials, whatever it is you have at home. But there we go. So we're going to just lay this. So see what I did there? I just added the glue to those exposed squares. And then I'm just going to lay this down on top let it set up and then boom there we go we have a card that when the recipient gets the card it will pop out like that and then they can stand it on their mantle like that and or you know i was also thinking okay so this is the front little baby big love but on the back you could do the exact same mechanism and have a square popping out the back too if you wanted to i chose to go with the long rectangular 
panels, but you could absolutely, when you get the PDF from me, you could absolutely do this measurement, do all of these things at the back as well and have two pop-out panels. So, oh, I forgot to do something. I forgot to put the ribbon on. Okay, I'll show you what it's supposed to look like with the ribbon. <laughs> I was so excited. Thank you, Kathy. So this would be, I would think, a little girl card. It could be a, ba a boy card too, right? It's just Calypso and Petal Pink. Why not, right? But let us let me show you the blue version. So for the blue version, I used a balmy blue card base. And then I used this piece here, this pattern from the Let's Go Shopping paper. It's all about using up this paper. That's half price, you guys, half price. And then I did the exact same thing, but I added the ribbon. So in your kit, you will get this ribbon. So the ribbon goes between the white and the balmy or between the white and the clipsal. So I'm going to be sending you one of these, either blue or um, I pop, no, you know what? I, I'm sorry. I'm sending you the petal pink one because let me show you what the Hey Chuck version looks like because I made one with Hey Chuck because many of you have purchased Hey Chuck, um, on Monday and you're like, I want five ideas, right? As I promised. So here's my Hey Chuck version. <laughs> He's holding his cake. I just love the expression, <laughs> the expression on these chickens. I mean, if that doesn't make you smile, <laughs> I don't know what would, right? Now, this area here, I've left some white space here. You can actually die cut some numbers. If you have someone have a special birthday, you know, you could put the numbers there or whatever it is you want. But there is a bit of white space. And then the back of this one, rise and shine, you got something to crow about. It's your birthday. So you will be getting in the kits this, that come this week, you'll get this version. And I mean, the blue would work too with the Hey Chuck, but I really think the oranges that I use to color, I use Cajun Craze, um, pumpkin pie, both light and dark on the, on the, on his fur. And then I use lemon lolly just to blend in the face and everything. Oh, thanks, Krista. So the Hey Chuck version that, you know, it'll be in the PDF because I, you know, as I mentioned, I wanted to give you five ideas, but if you can't get Hey Chuck and you're sad, you could easily get the Little Dreamers bundle and you'd be good to go to make tons of baby cards, right? So I hope you like this Fun Fold Friday card. It's super easy. And yes, indeed, it does fit in our envelopes, right? It is perfectly sized to fit. And it's a nice little sweet pop-out prize surprise for the recipient when they get this kind of card. I can't wait to make this card. Um, you know, this would make a great Christmas card, birthday card, whatever occasion you've got coming up, right? So fun. All right. Thank you guys. I'm going to flip you back around. Whoops. Krista says, can't wait for next week. Have a great weekend. Aw, thank you. Same to you as well, my friend. All right. <laughs> I wish you all a fantastic weekend. I hope you have some time that you have carved out for yourself to do some relaxing stamping, maybe some scrap scrapbooking. I almost forgot. I'm <laughs> I want to show you my scrapbook pages that I, I made for my scrapbook club. Cause you guys know I've been running a scrapbook club for years and years, right? I actually came into this hobby as a scrapbooker and I love my photos. My family makes so much fun of me because I take up so many photos, but it's the photos that matter. It's the photos is what we have left, you know, after the memories, after the experience, right? So I am a huge lover of photos and getting them into an album and even better documenting on even just your your chicken scratch wrote your writing your kids are going to want to see your writing years from now right so write on your pages and what the uh, information is about these uh, these pages so let me flip the camera back around I'm sorry I don't want to make you dizzy but I really want to show you these pages and give you some ideas of what we do in scrapbook club and what you can do um, with this let's go shopping paper and I think I do have a couple of these kits left. If you're interested, reach out to me and I'll let you know what they cost and I can get them out to you. Of course, you have to be from Canada to get these pages, but let's flip the camera and I'll show you again. Okay, we're going to flip again. Sorry, guys. Let's raise up a little bit here so I can get these pages onto my screen and I'll share with you what I've done with this amazing paper. Okay, so here we go. We've got the first layout that my scrapbook club ladies did, and I titled it Out and About. 
out and about. So if you've been out with some friends, you've gone on a trip, you've got some pictures of you dining out on a patio, perhaps, this layout is for you. This one is um, what I put together using the Lay Shops paper. Um, the ladies in my scrapbook club, they get all of these die cuts that I cannot stand, send stamped images. That's not allowed. But um, this was from uh, the... Alphabet stamp set. Now that is also retiring and I think I might have read that that one sold out, but you could use any alphabets, right? And do your own title. My French ladies that are in my club, um, I encourage them to purchase an alphabet set so that they can change the layout to be whatever it is in French, right? So this is my layout. And then there was a stamp in the set that said, let's get together. And then they got some of the designer series paper so they could actually fussy cut out their own storefronts and their little greenery and everything. Thank you so much, Marlene. Thank you, everyone. So this one, I don't have pictures on it yet, but I've got lots of ideas of, you know, dining with friends, dining with family. I've gone on several cruises with my family and we've been out and about. Um, I remember we went to... Uh, Marseille in France and I got pictures of storefronts that remind me of this paper so I'm super excited to get this one and then um, get pages up pictures on this one and then the for the title this is the nested essentials um, dies that you can still get so that's my first one the second layout because I do like to give the ladies two we do two layouts every single month and I like to focus on, if I can, focus on one suite so I give people lots of ideas. This is the second layout I designed using this Lay Shops paper. So they got a strip like that, go down the side. See, there's so many different ways to use our designer series paper and to scrapbook. And then a house a fussy cut, they got the letters that I die cut for them. And then the strip of paper, they get all the cardstock pieces, the ribbon, um, and then all of these photo mats, right? They get all of that. And then we die cut out the little park bench and a little light pole, all of that. The only thing they don't get is the 12 by 12 white because Canada Post would charge me an arm and a leg to mail 12 by 12. So I tell them with their order, their first order, order some white cardstock. And some of them are already scrapbookers and they have they have white cardstock at home anyway, so it's not a big deal. So that's my scrapbook club. This is the one, I forget what month, I think I think this was um, August of last year. These were the layouts we did. So I just wanted to share that with you to give you the inspiration um, for that paper. It is super, super cute. Okay, let's do a recap of my cards this week. So on Monday, we played with Global Design Project Challenge and the challenge was to case the designer, Nicole Peschke. Now, Nicole's card was a slimline card. So this is the card that I made using Hey Chuck, of course. And there's the inside. Okay, so that was my first card on Monday. Tuesday, I was moving on with Hey Chuck, and I brought in some retired things. This is the beautiful textured paper using the in-colors that are leaving us, Tahitian Tide, uh, sweet sorbet and um, parakeet party. So there is my second card for Tuesday using Hey Chuck. Wednesday, where's my Wednesday card? Hmm. Wednesday. Oh, here we go. Wednesday, we did. You have something to grow about. Brought in the uh, Fresh as a Daisy designer series paper and the stitch with whimsy dies that are leaving. So grab that paper, grab those dies, you guys. They are amazing. So that was Wednesday. And then yesterday, I got up and checked the inventory supply list. And the card, where did I put my card? <laughs> my Thursday card. Okay, sorry. Um, where is my card? It's here. Sorry, guys. I got it. so much on my desk today. Let me just grab that Thursday card. Okay, so you Thursday, hey Chuck, I used this one. Okay, so I didn't make this one on the camera. I made, I had to pivot and I made these two baby cards using Little Dreamer. Okay, so it's the same design, the same card pieces, the same vellum. That's what you're going to get in your kit. So if you don't have Hey Chuck, you can use your uh, pieces to make baby cards. So that was Thursday. That was yesterday. And today we did, 
This is the hay chuck version. And then we have, I gave you two more ideas using Little Dreamers, okay? So there's our week. Let's put the hay chuck ones on top because that was my intention. I did not intend to have to pivot, but you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So there we go, my friends. All these are the hay chuck ideas. And of course, underneath Thursday and Friday, you can see my Little Dreamer ideas. Um, I think that's all. I don't think there was anything else that I'm forgetting. Thank you, Marlene. Thanks, everyone. Let me just flip you around. I can't decide which one's my favorite. Aw, thank you. Thank you, Roxanne. I had lots of fun this week, you guys. It was a great week. Um, I hope I've inspired you to pull out your stamps, ink, and paper this weekend. If you live in Canada, I hope I've inspired you to make a purchase. Get those things on your list before they're gone because it's still only, what is today, the 12th? 11th. 12. <laughs> I'd stop and think. Um, you got lots of time to still shop that retired list and get the things that you can at a discount. We all love a discount, right? All right. Take care. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you Monday morning at 9 o'clock. Bye-bye.